Hey, welcome back guys. Today I'm going to do something a little different, uh, at least for me in this channel anyway. Uh, in my squeaky office chair, I'm going to uh, lay out these two 64 uh, Oldsmobiles and we'll take a look at them. A lot of people have uh, reviewed them and built them. Um, I've got uh, just bought the 442 yesterday, went to the, the hobby shop and uh, well, let me tell you, my hobby shop, I'm, I'm very fortunate to live close to a great hobby shop. And I get in there, I am like a, a fat kid in a bakery. I just drool all over. And I can say that because i got a gut. So none of you need fat people, you know, keep the hate mail. Um, but yeah, the when the convertible came out, I knew I had to have that. And then they said about the 442, the hard top, it was just a given. Um, I had uh, owned, had one of the uh, convertibles used, um, you know, build up and glue and, you know, yellowed. And, uh, and it went, uh, I sold it um, with a bunch of other stuff years ago. And uh, when they said they were coming back out with it, why, thank you, round two. Again, thank, I don't know if I thanked you yet, but. Uh, so, I laid them out here, and I was going to do a pro and con kind of thing, but I can tell you uh, that the cons are not going to be, there's not going to be very much of them. Um, if I get something pointless here. These are both, were both done as promotional models. If you don't know what those are, those were uh, plastic model cars, 25th scale, that were done uh like the new cars and they were given out at dealerships uh, where you get you know promotional promote the new car um, so they were painted and assembled screwed together uh, not a whole lot of parts they wouldn't have an engine in them they'd have a the hood would be molded shut and they would have a uh, an engine plate that's what they would call it, it would have the uh, bottom of the engine detail oil pan such in place uh, and they're screwed together come a little white box so both of these cars as well as a kit they were uh, promotionals <clears throat> well I, sh I shouldn't say the convertible was a kit and the promotional as far as I know only the 442 was only done as a cutlass um, hardtop and as a uh, it was done as a promotional as a cutlass hardtop it was not done as a 442 and it was not that i see in in kit form and if it, if it was I'm, i failed to see the the uh the model kit anywhere uh, in my you know research <laughs> so the what you normally get with the the screw the screw them together those posts in there is these uh, dents in the in the deck lid of this uh, post is open you know it's hollow and the te and the plastic tends to uh, and, and molding tends to go down in there make a little dent um, and on both cars in the inner fender here there's a uh, two uprights right there for uh, positioning the, the firewall those then make a dent on the outside of the fender and it's going to take some filling the cutlass badging and the and the uh, trim on these cars very light. Uh, the 442 up at the front, and then there's one. We we'll probably won't see it at all on the deck lid up top. Um, those are very light, so that's my gripe, and that's where it stops because. It's 1964, guys. This is what we had. To have them back is is great. Um, you know, you gotta throw a little body work into it. That's just the way it is. Uh, trim uh, or uh, detail inside uh, the uh, console, those uh, sun visors, the separate seats. We don't have seats molded into the tub. Uh, a nice dashboard. Uh, the convertible top boot extra on this one uh, some very nice stuff 
uh, to build with. Again, you know, underneath you've got the molded in exhaust that's not the greatest, but it was, again, 64 and it was made as a promotional. So um, the 442, the hard top, like the, it's the same thing. Um, pretty much the, the bottom this uh, the, is exactly the same. This car is just a little lighter. The plastic is uh, a, little, a little darker, a little than the and this the uh, the hard top so that's like I said that's where my gripe ends it's uh, other than that uh, a little bit of body work and you're gonna have to watch your your trim there uh, now some people might go ahead and just sand off the the uh, the cutlass emblems in the 442 because they do come on a decal sheet um, you know you could do that and uh, then you don't have to worry about it. The trim up there, I've seen some people have done away with it. Uh, I'd like to keep it. I'd like to try anyway. So, hang on. We'll uh, we'll move on to some other parts. Okay, so on the engine, uh, both cars come with this tree here. Uh, this is the 330 cubic inch V8 with a two-speed transmission that's the jetaway two-speed and uh for you know the cylinder heads oil pan intake the uh, exhaust manifolds there's the headers there front accessory drive well, i guess that would be for the uh, superchargers there's your factory just an alternator is all you get on this car uh standard air cleaner single snorkel fan there's the water pump timing cover valve covers so we've got uh, the basic 330 uh, and that's what you get in the convertible for the 442 you'll get this rack plus this which gives you your 330 with the four-speed transmission and the dual snorkel air cleaner uh, for your ultra high compression 330 cubic inch v8 um, it's not the greatest, uh, but it's, like I said, 1964, so I'm happy to have them. Um, um, the 442, all of those cars were four speeds first year out. The 330 with the upped horsepower and stuff, I think they had, uh, if I remember right, they had problems with the uh, seals in the transmission not holding up. And uh, if it was RPM or torque or whatever, um, so it was a four-barrel, four-speed dual exhaust. So you, you know, by rights, it should be a, four, a four-speed car. But uh, the the uh, Jetaway two-speed wasn't available in a 442 then until '65, until they got their problems ironed out. Uh, so either way, there we've got uh, a decent the air cleaner, the valve covers, all that stuff looks really good seats uh, again separate from the interior uh, tub so I'm very glad for that we've got a standard low back bucket seat and a couple race seats in there um, Charles around. see those that'd be good for nothing that I'd want to use but you could cut those out uh, in those seat backs there cut those out uh, and maybe use them in a dune buggy or something. See the detail back so onto the uh, seat back of those uh, low back bucket seats. And here again with both cars being pretty much the same. I think the 442 does have some spoiler, rear spoiler on it. And we've got uh, roll pans for the custom stuff there. Disc brakes, uh, rotors and calipers side exhaust, uh, seat belts, a fire extinguisher, a rally type uh, insert for the dash with some gauges in it, radiator, a couple license plates, and the firewall, um, the single the single cylinder, the master cylinder, single reservoir master cylinder on it, not too bad, these are usually just blobs on a firewall, that's not too bad. Uh, our blower motor and uh, heater box there looks halfway as decent 
Again, the chrome tree on this. We've got um, a set of mag wheels that I had seen. Now, the box art doesn't do them justice. These wheels I really like. I don't, I don't know why I'm attracted to them. It just you know, the day two in 1964, what you had, those aren't actually too bad looking. I, I kind of like those. Kind of, I do like them. I don't kind of like them. I do like them. Uh, we've got the uh, side exhaust, rocker molding for it, the, the custom tail light, stock tail light, uh, the housing and the trim across the back. This looks like, I don't know if it's a standard bumper or a custom bumper. Now this one's held on at the sides, and I've heard people complain about that because when you pull that off, you're going to have to touch up right there on the side um, on that bumper. Uh, on this tree over here, we've got the stock front, and this bumper, the, the reverse light, it's upside down. Excuse me. But that the uh, reverse light is different. But that could be used in the you know, for the factory bumper, uh, and then it's only held on at the top and bottom. Um, where you just have to uh, watch this, you you'll want to touch that up, but it won't be like on the side. Uh, you know, touching it up and having it right in your face. So, uh, I do like the, also, the front bumper on this one, this custom deal, that uh, opened up area here, they got the grill opened up where the license plate would be. I do really, really like that, and I think that, along with those mag wheels, might end up on one of these cars. Um... You know, I don't, uh, I don't know. The more I look at it, the more it's growing on me. And that has put me in mind of like a rally deal. Uh, if you guys have ever seen Steve Strope's 64 uh, F85 uh, called Long Weekend. It's uh, Steve Strope is uh, Pure Vision Design. He did his own car. It's a 64 Cutlass F85. And uh, in one picture, it's got the standard the front bumper going on. In another picture they show it, he's got two driving lights up on the front. And they're right in this area right here. Um, so I could see it doing a car with a little of that flavor that, that was done to his. Uh, and maybe using that front bumper. So um, we've got twin superchargers on here. I've uh, got the spinners for these mags that they don't really do a, a lot for me. Um, that goofy little air cleaner and the custom front end. Like I say though, we do have uh, that bumper going on there. Um, and I don't know which one is which. I'd have to look at the instructions to see which one they tell you to use. But I'll probably just use that. I don't see why not. The reverse lamp isn't that much different. Uh, small slotted opening and it doesn't look like the uh, license plate opening is any different so why not? My convertible I've had it for a while and I didn't even notice there's a couple of things I didn't notice about it. It had two of these trees in there and I was thinking maybe one of them was that the dashboard was different uh, like a custom deal, but it is not. These are the same trees uh, left and right, and that dashboard is the same factory dashboard. Nothing different. Um, we've got our uh, convertible top boot, and I think that is, uh, if you turn that over, I think that is a, the third pedal. Is and it looks like the uh, third pedal.
creaking ass chair. Yep, that's the third pedal. So, um, I don't know. Can you maybe you guys drop down in the comments if you are, if you already have that convertible? Uh, did you have two, or is that just a mistake that they dropped that in there? Um, either way, it's not a it's not a bad thing to have extra parts, especially a convertible top boot. Um, you know, you could uh, with that have a 442 convertible. You can have a regular Cutlass and a 442. I mean, you know, you never know. All right, another demonstration into how I don't pay attention is the tires on our convertible in a white uh, set of white walls and I honestly don't remember seeing anything uh, the box the wrapping still usually has that uh, uh, little decal on it <clears throat> and it says if it's got uh, retooled parts and pad printed tires um, so I'm assuming that the white wall is a black wall on the opposite side you turn it in and out you know as you want white or black wall um, the 442 has a red line tire it does say uh, now that it is a double pad printed tire which means it's got the red line uh, on one side and a gold lettered firestone supreme on the opposite the here and looking at tires looking at both cars the excuse my big fat hands there the white wall for the convertible is also double pad printed ta-da gold letter firestone supreme and that is how much we pay attention to deep junk garage now you know decals if your name is chuck farley you are in luck because your name is in the decal sheet for the convertible. Uh, we've got uh, Bonneville Motors, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Uh, some Michigan plates. Um, Auto World decals, numbers. Um, so you got your, your cross legs. You got to have cro cross legs. And uh, that uh, dash panel which is cool I like when they have the gauges in and uh, the, that along with the pad printed tires look when you get to pad printed tires and you've got your polyglass GT or a, a GT radial in white letter uh, white walls red lines blue stripe slicks uh, race master slicks you know it's it's awesome you, and, uh, this to me is the uh, good old days of model building you'll have guys say well 64 that was the good old days and well, now again we've got the kits coming back so we've got the kits uh, they they're higher priced everything's higher priced that's just the way it is uh, that's another video but we've got kits coming back um, we've got great new kits coming out with lots of detail you know, not just the 64 with the, the screw together bottom and a molded um, exhaust. Those are great. These kits are awesome. But then you have your, your pad printed tires. You've got your gauge detail uh, on, on the, um, on the uh, decal sheets. You've got uh, uh, resin, uh, resin parts. 3D printed parts, photo etch parts, you know, the time to be a modeler is right now. Um, so that is the convertible decal sheet. On the 442, you can see I get my pointer out here again. Um, they've really got enough of these decals here. To do two cars you can screw up your air cleaner decal uh, the ultra high compression you've got uh, three emblems my hand is shaking stop it sorry about that guys but you've got 442 on the front fenders and the deck lid so you've got enough for two cars 
and Cutlass on both front fenders. Enough again, enough for two cars. Um, rally, Monte Carlo rally, decals on there, stripes. Um, a really nice 442 front plate and an Arizona front plate. I don't know the Arizona people. There you go. Again, some Auto World stuff in our dash panel. So, really nice decals. Um, like I said, this is it. This is the time to be a, a car modeler. And uh, I have zero, really zero complaints that uh, about the a little body work I wish. But then there's a little bit of work in every kit, so... Uh, these compared to say the ratty charger over there which I have dreams about throwing it away um, to compare these cars are just mint um, I'm glad you came along glad you uh, watched the video I hope you uh, got something out of it maybe it uh, talked you into buying one or two of these and uh, or maybe not um, if you're a subscriber uh, thank you uh, I appreciate it if you're not subscribed, maybe yeah, think about it. What the hell? It's free. Um, we've got uh, more coming up with uh, Ratty Charger, uh, the Roadrunner, 67 Impala. Um, I don't know when we'll get at these. Uh, I'm pulling my hair out with with uh, projects as it is and, uh, and trying to get some sort of... Um, all filming, um, you know, down and uh, the editing's got to get better. There's no production value in these. Uh, um, so we'll try harder, folks. And uh, so stay tuned and, and uh, um, we'll, uh, we'll be back with more on the Ratty Charger. And that, like I said, there's uh, the uh, Roadrunner, the 67 Impala, and uh, who knows what else. Thanks again.